Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can read and write time to the nearest minute and use these clocks to measure time and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So these three clocks, we're about to put some minute hands and some hour hands on them, but they're called analog clocks. And analog is just another term that means the same thing as old fashioned or doesn't use a whole lot of electronics. So a digital clock just shows the hours and the minutes, but these analog clocks, they have the numbers one through 12 around in a circle. They've got a long hand and a short hand. And you learn about this in first grade. You learn how to tell time to the nearest hour and half hour. In second grade, we go to the nearest minute. So let's start with this one over here on the left. The first thing that we probably want to do is we want to realize that each of these big numbers are actually showing sets of five. If you count these little tick marks, you see we got one, two, three, four, and then this first big number, this number one, is actually the first set of five. And so I'm gonna put a five out there. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see this second big number, the number two, is our second set of five. So if we skip count by fives, we can go all the way around. So that's 15. 20, 25, 30. And so when we get to the half hour down here, we've got six sets of five, so that's 30 minutes, because 30 minutes is a half hour. 35, 40, that's 45, 50, 55, and then back at zero is actually 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is one hour. That's gonna be important for us to, to remember when we are trying to look at our minute hands and our hour hands. So let's say we wanted to show 345. Well, here's one thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our minute hand over here. So I'm gonna put a long minute hand over here, and that's gonna show at the 45, because at the nine is the 45. What a lot of us sometimes get confused is we think this hour hand has to be pointing straight at the three. The thing is, is 345, if you see it, it's only 5, 10, it's only 15 minutes away from 4 o'clock. So that's almost 4 o'clock. So if you were to look at an analog clock, your hour hand, which is the shorter hand, is going to be pointing almost at the 4, not quite at the 4, but it's almost at the 4 because it's only 15 minutes away from being 4 o'clock. So that's how we would draw 345. Let me... Uh, let me flip that here, and I'm going to draw a time, and then we're going to see if we can figure out exactly uh, when that time is. So we've got a minute hand there, and we've got an hour hand. So our hour hand is, is this one right here. I'll put an H right there because it's a shorter one. Our minute hand is pointing at the 7. It's the longer one. So let's look at our hour hand here. So it's between the 10 and 11, and it's about halfway through. And so when it's between two numbers, you always go down to the smaller number. That means it's just past that hour. So when it's between two, you're gonna say it is 10 something. So we're gonna put our colon here. And now we need to count by fives again. So let's just count by five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, there we go, 35. If we can remember to skip count by fives, that makes that pretty easy. So 10, 35. We don't know whether it's AM or PM. These analog clocks don't show that, but that's how we would show 10, 35. Now I've got a tricky one for us. What if I wanted to show 7, 18? because these first two problems have gone to the nearest five. Well, 718, let's do our minute hand first. So five, 10, there's 15, and here's 20. So 18 is gonna be one of these tick marks in between. So that's 16, that's 17, and that's gonna be 18 right there. So I'm gonna draw my minute hand and it's gonna point straight to that 18. So I, I at least have my long minute hand pointing there. Now my seven is gonna be a little bit past seven because it's not quite 7.30. 7.30 would be halfway between seven and eight. So that's how we would draw 7.18.